Hey everybody, my name is Anna Godwin and I'm a research data scientist at RTI International. In recent years, one PDF project just turned into another one and I wanted to share some quick tips for how to get you started with a couple of Python libraries. I know PDFs, especially the scanned ones, can evoke some feelings. And to fill in the blank here, you might be thinking, the worst. But if there's one key takeaway from this talk, it's to start thinking about PDFs as a data set and to get your stakeholders to see a directory of PDFs on their computer as a data set too. We know that PDFs can be a rich source of text data and they can be a source of structured data too. And now that we're starting to see unstructured and structured data sources, our minds can think of all the types of problems that we can solve with the data that we know and love. Entity recognition, topic modeling, clustering, social network analysis, modeling, data visualization, and the list just goes on and on. But first we need to get that data out of the PDFs so we can get to the applied machine learning part. Over these next slides, I'm going to talk to you about a few examples that I've seen throughout multiple projects and provide some starter code that can help get you started. So for this first one, it's really all about keyword search, which PDFs have matches for this keyword list versus that keyword list, and how many times are we seeing that keyword? To do this, I'm going to talk about Pi Mu PDF across these next few slides. I think that's how you say it. That's how I like to say it. Um, you can install it, calling pip install Pi Mu PDF. And here's the first tricky bit about it. It's really the only tricky thing, in my opinion. It's you call import fits. But from there, um, and they talk about why it's called fits in the read the docs, so you should check that out. But from there, you're just going to call fits.open for your file. And then for each page that we see in that one document, we'll iterate over that and append the text that you're extracting from that page to an overall list, and then just convert that list into an overall string. And now you're able to search that string to see which keywords and how many times it may have shown up for that one PDF and compare that to other PDFs in your project. For this one, it's really just thinking about turning a 500 page PDF into something like a smaller five page relevant PDF for your collaborators. And to do that, we're gonna use PyMu PDF again. Uh, we'll open the sample, and then you're gonna call another open statement. And what that's going to do is initialize an empty PDF. From there, you can choose which pages from the original PDF you want to insert into this new shorter one, and then save that off into your new shorter file. For this one, it's just thinking about having something like 10 or more PDFs open at the same time. It takes up a lot of space on your browser or in your reader. You can't remember which one's what. So some folks just want this all in one relevant single PDF. We'll still use PyMu PDF. And what we'll do is initialize that empty PDF again. Uh, like we did previously, but we'll iterate through each PDF in your directory or in your file list and open each of those and insert each of those into that uh, overall collate PDF and then just save that off so then they can have it all in a single PDF. For this last part, extracting tables is something that comes up again and again. I've liked using tabula pi. You can call pip install tabula pi. And then from there, you're really calling the read underscore PDF function. This bit of text here will let you pretty much, if it's covering the entire width of the page, it works pretty well out of the box. But sometimes you may need to provide the vertical lines for your table. So one way you can do this is using the free version of Adobe Reader and its measuring tool. You would measure the leftmost margin, followed by the column widths for the table. Then you'll need to convert these inch measurements into centimeters. 
And then in the last column here, sum those centimeters into the overall distance that you're seeing from the left-hand edge. Those are the values that you're going to provide back to that read PDF call and the columns parameter. And that should help you get more clear results with your table extraction. Bringing it back home, uh, just remember the key takeaway I wanted you to think about for this presentation, especially for your stakeholders, is to start seeing PDFs as a data set instead of just a bunch of files in a directory. Thanks for watching, and please feel free to follow up with any questions you might have about PDF extraction in the NormConf Slack. Thanks.